Hello, I'm Joni and I'm mother of the bride. Are you as excited about your daughter's big day as I am about mine? And I'm sure, like me, you've got lots of questions. Well, I started a website called imotherofthebride.com and on there, after doing lots of research, I'm trying to answer all those questions that we mothers have. Now, one of the big questions we have is, what am I going to wear? So I'm making these videos about real life try-ons. That means I try on dresses that I've seen online that look great. The problem is that online the models are younger, slimmer and taller than me. So I'm never quite sure if they're going to suit me or not. I hope you're going to find these videos really useful seeing a real woman in real life with minimal makeup, no tights, at home, normal lighting, trying on these outfits. And I hope that'll help you to decide if that could be the right item for you. Accompanying each of these videos, there's a page on my website, imotherofthebride.com, and on there, I note down the exact details of what I'm trying on. I remind you about what size I am so that you can compare. And of course, there'll be a link if you decide that you'd like to buy that item too. So let's get started with real life try-ons. This is the Faith layered dress by Phase 8. It's a size 14 and I'm very pleased with the fit. I think Phase 8 really understand older women and Mother of the Bride occasion dresses. You can see that the waist is quite wide. Although it's a fitted dress, they haven't brought the waist right in. Styles for younger people bring the waist much further in because they don't have that extra that we have around here. So I'm very pleased that I can get into it. I think the other thing that shows that Phase 8 have got their eye on older women is here at the neck. I'll just come forward so that you can see the lace. So, the great thing about having the lace is that your décolletage is slightly on show. They've also made a slight cap sleeve. Although it doesn't cover all of the upper arm, where most of us have a bit of a problem, um, they do cover enough that it makes the eye go across rather than down the arm. I think it just detracts and I think it's quite clever. Now I'm only five foot two, which means that if I can ever buy petite, I do. But of course, most uh, designers don't make very many petite. So when I saw this online, I was very interested because I could see that if I took one of these layers out completely, which would be very easy to do, then I would have it at about the right length. On the model, it was showing on or just above the knee and looked great, but the model was early 20s, perhaps 16, who knows, with a lot of makeup on. I don't want to go that, uh, that short. In fact, I've just pinned up this hem because I'm not sure if I'll send it back. And I also wanted to know, if I pin it up by one complete layer, is it going to be too short? It's certainly shorter than I would normally wear in that it shows my knees. But it's a special occasion. It's a summer wedding. Perhaps I can do that. I think the, the great thing here is that because it's quite fitted, it will look really nice with a little jacket or with one of those longish through quarter coats that you can get often in lace or something very fine 
uh, that, um, that, that just goes over. So if I am worried about my arms, then I can do that. Or if the weather is a bit cool, I'll just try it with a wrap. Now this wrap isn't one that I would wear, obviously, on the day, but it's got, it's a very large square, and I'm just wondering if this would be the shape to wear. So, hanging down, it looks like that, and tied, It looks like that. I think I'm quite pleased with that really. Um, if I got a dark pink wrap, I think that would look quite nice. If you want more details of these dresses, do go to the site and have a look for the page that will give you all the specifications, the price I paid and who sells it.